All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechak Wadash. They want to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations. Until the four like tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, uh, what's being reported is pretty uh, significant. And uh, just seeing, you know, the, the bold moves that have been made over there in the region of the East, the so-called Middle East, you know, where you've had a series of attacks, you know, back and forth between the Israelis and uh, the Iranian, uh, you know, proxy armies. And then uh, recently with the Israeli attack on Iran, you know, trying to uh, target key military targets. Um, this right here, um, you know, this is very uh, symbolic. You know, the fact that uh, two countries which once had a, a history of conflict between one another are, you know, piecing things up. Um, they're strengthening ties together. And now they just did a joint Navy drill together. And that's very unprecedented if you understand the history between the two. You know, they had a uh, a conflict in uh, 1979 where you had the, the Iranian uh, Revolutionary Guard Corps you know, they uh, uh, rose up against the uh, the Saudi Arabian regime because, you know, they was fighting for influence, you know, over the uh, the Middle Eastern region. And um, it ended up causing, you know, the rising of two monarchs, you know, where the Muslim Brotherhood kind of split. And uh, you had on the, uh, the Saudi Arabian side, you had the the uh, the Sunni uh, faction. And then on the uh, the Iranian side, you had the Shiite factions, you know, so, you know, they were uh, once uh, hostile with one another. And, uh, you know, of course, the uh, Russia, UK and other countries got involved and there was a line that was being drawn. But uh, decades later, you know, you see them now piecing things up and joining forces. And I let you know the, the 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 level of hatred for Amalek, all right, over there causing all this uh, disruption of peace in the so-called Middle East. It got even once upon a time enemies basically coming together, you know, burying the hatchet and you know aligning themselves. All right, which uh, you read Obadiah, it tells you how they would, uh, Esau would be made small among the heathen and greatly despised. You know, so, you know, they're aligning themselves, you know, with certain things in common. They're getting sick and tired of Amalek, you know. And uh, the last that we heard of Saudi Arabia was, you know, they was given an invitation to join BRICS. You know, Iran already got admitted into uh, the BRICS nations, all right? And then, you know, they just had a summit where, you know, more nations got admitted into it. And then they just announced uh, a, a rollout of a, a BRICS currency, you know, that's backed by uh, resources, you know, gold in particular. <laughs> so, you know, this is all definitely um, leading up to... The, the, the growing conflict over there in that portion of the world was going to lead to the war of Armageddon. Where all the nations are going to get involved. You know, so uh, just to start, you know, we know that this is the Lord, you know, waking up the uh, the mighty men to, to prepare them for what? For war. Let's go to uh, Joel 3 and verse 9. And it says... <laughs> Proclaim you this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war <clears throat> draw near. Let them come up, beat your plowshares into swords and your pointed hooks into spears. 
let the weak say I am strong. You know, so they've been developing all this uh, uh, military apparatus um, and doing all these different uh, drills, you know, basically practicing for war, you know, flexing their, um, you know, military uh, firepower and their capabilities, so on and so forth. And it's been going on. You had uh, China has been leaking up with Russia, you know, not too far from the coast of Alaska. And then now uh, they've been saying that China has been getting ready for preparation to invade uh, Taiwan. So they've been in the um, the South China Sea, you know, prepping themselves. So, you know, the U.S. is going to get involved eventually for the sake of Taiwan since they, you know, have um, ties with them. So it's all leading up. All right. And we just got to continue to watch, you know, like the scriptures tell us to. It says, assemble yourselves and come all you heathen and gather yourselves together round about to the cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh, that the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, which means Yahweh Shapat, the most size judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So the Lord's going to bring them over into, you know, this, uh, This 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 valley, you know, which represents um, the place of the Mo, the most size judgment where this war is going to be uh, taking effect. You know, um, it talks about how the Lord's going to uh, in Revelation, the 16th chapter, how he's going to um, basically dry out the, uh, the Euphrates River, you know, to prepare the way of the kings of the east because they're going to be fighting in this uh, last world's war which is uh, the war of armageddon which the word armageddon it means a uh, mountain of the troops armageddon okay and then let's go to uh joel the second chapter in the 20th uh, verse because it says that the lord said that he would um remove the uh the northern army you know far off uh from them and that's talking about the american army they're going to get involved right joel 2 and 20 says but i will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate so it's going to be a, a, a large land mass that's complete uh, desert right with his face toward the east sea you know and that's uh facing the east eastern sea is uh dealing with Euphrates River that leads down into the Persian Gulf and the Persian Gulf is connected to the Arabian Sea and um, this particular drill that they had the Iranians and uh, the Saudi the Saudis happened to be in the Gulf of Oman you know and if you you know know your uh, your maps the Gulf of uh, Oman is uh you know right in between uh, the Persian Gulf where it actually meets uh, the Arabian uh, Sea. Let me go here. Yep. Let's go to uh, images. And, you know, here's the map. So this is where the drill took place. And it happens to be right there. All right, you got the, the Persian Gulf. The Euphrates River, you know, uh, runs into the Persian Gulf, you know, right below Iran. And then, you know, right on this side of uh, the UAE, you got Oman and that's the sea. And it goes, you know, right into uh, the Arabian Sea. So this is the Eastern Sea. All right. And they happen to have joint drills, Iran and Saudi Arabia. These are two once upon a time enemies. And now they're, you know, partnering up. <laughs> You know, through this BRICS alliance, okay, and you, um, and I guarantee you, uh, the U.S. is not filling this move, nor is it, uh, the uh, Israeli government filling this move. So they're back in Iran now. So this is very significant, okay. So going back to uh, the prophecy, so it says that his with his face toward the E.C. And it's hinder part toward the utmost sea. And that's um, the Red Sea. All right. 
which you see on the other side of uh, Saudi Arabia. And Saudi Arabia is, is, is a big desert. That, that's a, a, a basically a, a, a desolate place. All right. And then that's, you know, all the conflict that's surrounding the area. Because, of course, Iran is involved in this war with uh, uh, Israel. Um, you got Yemen that's involved. And they're on the side of uh, Iran. Right. You know, you got the Houthi rebels in Yemen. And, uh, you know, you got Iraq, of course. You know, Syria up above. All these different countries, you, they're all in, in conflict right now. See, you got Ethiopia right there, and which, pursuing the Ezekiel the thirty eighth chapter, you know Ethiopia will be a part of the alliance as well. I mean, and, and, and uh, you know, Gog will have to be a guard unto Ethiopia as well as Persia, which is Iran, and uh, and, and Libya as well. Okay, so going back here. So you see, it says in an unprecedented move, Saudi Arabia and Iran held their first joint naval, naval drills in the Gulf of Oman, signaling a rare thaw in their longstanding rivalry. So, yeah, this is, uh, you know, this is very significant. And this is of the Lord's doing, because like the scriptures say, the heart of, uh, of the king, which is uh, usually the, the leader, you know, whether it's your... Um, your prime minister over here, it he would be considered your president or whatnot. Um, he said the hand of the king is in is in the hand of the Lord. And like the river of water, he turned the fit whithersoever he wills. So the Lord is in control of this. He's the one that's stirring this up. OK. Setting up all these different war strategies because, you know, World War Three, the third war is uh, imminent and they know it. So let's go back to uh, Joel 2. <clears throat> it says, and its hinder part toward the utmost sea, right? The, the Red Sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. So it's going to be a lot of uh, dead bodies, you know, piling up in that desert because they're going to be at war. Okay. And uh, a land barren and desolate. Let's just, you know, look at pictures of the Saudi Arabian desert so you can see. Um, <clears throat> so here you got the images so you got all this desolate space all right and then the fact that these two are you know you know doing these naval drills um it speaks about in Second Ezra the fifteenth chapter, which I'm not going to go to. I'll just quote it. What talks about how the dragons of Arabia, how they're going to basically, um, they're going to come all out, you know, with many chariots and multitudes, and um, they're going to, you know, basically come out, you know, with 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 with, with power. You know, they're going to remember their their uh, nature. And the scriptures tell you that Ishmael is a is, is a wild man. All right. And uh, the Carmanians, which is uh, another name for the Iranians or the Persians, it talks about how they're going to go raging and raffle and go forth as a wild boar. You know, wild boars of the wood and they shall have great power and, and, and they shall come and join in battle. So this is what we're seeing. They're, they're, you don't do drills unless you're preparing for something. You know, you, 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 this is a war practice. So, you know, this is a prophecy, you know, uh, taking place. 
and it says in the, in the same uh, tweet, well, we know it's X now. It says the exercises come after a China brokered reconciliation, though uh, uh, analysts view it as a strategic hedge by uh, Riyadh uh, amid tensions with Israel. So, yeah, this thing is uh, getting heightened, man. And, um, you know, we're going to see more escalate from it, you know, especially looking at what just happened with the latest attack. You know, Iran is basically saying that it didn't really uh, do nothing significant with their uh, strikes uh, the other night. So they probably going to fall back like, OK, they just wasted more um, missiles and whatnot. <laughs> and uh, Americans going to con continue to fit uh, foot the bill, hurting their own pockets for them to keep on, you know, using all this firepower and it's not doing anything significant, you know. But uh, eventually it's, it's, it's something's going to happen. And the Lord's gonna, you know, blow that spark. That's gonna, you know, cause this thing to, 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 you know, uh, uh, descend into a widespread fire that can't be put out. Okay, because we know it's the Lord that's mustering the host of the battle. So for all we know right now, this is all part of, um, you know, the the, the rumors of war. And matter of fact, let me just get that. Uh, Matthew 24 and 6, and it says, And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. But th this is definitely um report worthy, you know, to, to do a lesson on. Because uh, if you understood the history between the two, you know, they, 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 at one point in time, they, they were not cool like that. But now, you know, they're part of the same alliance or, or, you know, Saudi Arabia is, um, you know, choosing China, you know, China, you know, they're, they're, uh, they've become strong, uh, economically, militarily, you know, they're, uh, manufacturing the hub, you know, a trade hub of the world, um, you know, they, they're all dealing with the same economic system that uh, circumvents the, 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 the Western economic system, the U.S. in particular, dealing with the petrol. The Saudis are no longer dealing with the petrol to trade uh, in exchange for oil. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, these nations, you know, they're, they're finally turning against the whore and the beast, you know. So, yeah, man, this is uh, good news, and hopefully more comes from it. And um, you know, we're going to see uh, it in the days ahead, you know, leading up to the election, what also takes place. You know, is there going to be a further escalation after the Israelis just, you know, uh, sent those strikes at Iran? Is, is Iran going to do something significant? Who knows? All right. And uh, whoever gets in office is going to determine, you know, how sooner the ball is going to get rolling when it comes to, you know, aiding that war over there. All right. Um. So, yeah, man, let's just sit back and continue to, you know, watch and see what uh, what goes down. But uh, prophecy is definitely speaking. OK, and it's going to further escalate into that third world, third world's war. And the, so the second woe has passed, and lo and behold, the third woe come quickly. So, uh, you know, I'm going to end it right there. And Lord will, Yahweh, Lord's will, Yahweh edified. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, and to the next one, Shalom.